Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. This is the MG stall at the 2020 Auto Expo and trust me there are so many people here right now because everybody is so interested in MG cars. Now they have showcased the ZS petrol version and uh, this one actually gets an option of either a 1.5 or a 1.3 litre motor. That is the Hector which is already on sale in the Indian market. The Hector Plus is going to be unveiled later in the day. Meanwhile there is OMG the X Power. Now this one looks absolutely dope. It's a racing touring car, uses a 2-litre engine and goes from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 4.6 seconds. Just look at it, looks absolutely dope, 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 dope. Yes, running on Kumho wheels and the rear spoiler is so massive that I can dry all my clothes even during the rainy season without any issue whatsoever. So that is the Hector Plus which is going to be unveiled later in the day. This is the EMG6, it's a electric version of the MG6 which I think we've already reviewed earlier on. Yeah, I had a brief drive in China of this vehicle. Now this is a hybrid actually and uses a 1.5 litre GDI motor. I don't know why everyone calls GDI, it's like I thought Hyundai, Slang and uh, you know Kias but it seems that everybody is using it for the moment. Now you know it's a notch back design, let's open the vehicle. Yeah, so this is actually technically a Hyundai Verna competitor. It actually drives a lot like the Hyundai Verna as well. Can you see that gas selector? That's super cool. But you know, I don't think there are any plans of bringing this to the Indian market. Actually, they have bought it to India, but launch plans aren't certain yet. Anyways, it says EMG 650T because this is obviously something which has a very unique design in the sense it's a notch back. So when I open the boot right now, you can see just like the Skoda Octavia and the Skoda Superb, the windscreen also goes up. It just improves the boot carrying capacity and the spare wheel is missing, but there is the charger. So let's close this for the moment. There is obviously a reverse parking camera as well. This is a display of regenerative braking and uh, this happens to be a 44.5 kilowatt hour battery. This is actually of the ZS EV and talking about the ZS EV, there is the ZS EV. So, up ahead is the 360M which is nothing but an Ertiga rival that is an MPV I've already shown you that car in a dedicated video so we'll just ignore that for the moment and that's a classic MG car looks really nice and neat of course this is from when the brand was actually 100% British interior looks super duper awesome and very well kept somehow so a lot of effort has been made to ensure that this beauty stays the way it should. What are the specs? This happens to be the MG MGA from 1958. And uh, honestly, I don't know the specs about this vehicle. So we're just going to move on. So MG stall also has a merchandise store and they have another MGA, yeah, a red colored one. I don't know from where they've managed to get all this and more, but it looks so well maintained. Yeah, whoever's done that job has done a great job indeed. Moving on, there's this MG hatchback. Now, I honestly don't know the specs of this car, but this happens to be the MG3. The MG3 is not going to be launched in the Indian market anytime soon. So, what are the specs? Powered by 1.5 litre VTI petrol engine, 150 Nm of torque, either a 5 speed manual or a disappointing 4 speed automatic gearbox. This car is actually more than 4 meters in length, 4055 or something about that, whereabouts. Yeah, design actually looks nice, but you know what? It's very cute. Chintu car. And most importantly, this car is having some sort of an interior which points to, if launched in India, a very aggressive price point somehow. Yeah, that is the interior automatic transmission. No, that's a manual right now. And you know, MG is written right there around the gear lever too. This is the instrument cluster. Everything seems very basic. Somehow reminds me of the old Yaris from Toyota coming to the rear. Yeah, it might remind you of some Fiat cars in terms of how vertically stacked the taillights are. Moving on, this is the RC6. We've actually spoken about this in a dedicated video. So I'm just going to ignore this for a moment. There is the Hector and there's a partner ecosystem. And this, given this a very British theme, so you've got telephone booths as well. This is a mix of sedan, coupe, as well as SUV. Moving on, this is another classic car from MG. Just parked, I think, customer cars probably whichever customer owns this car has done an absolute brilliant job of keeping this so spick and span without a doubt want to see an interior well let's try yep nice 
Okay, no prizes for guessing which is this car says electric on it. This is obviously the ZS EV with Morris garage is written right up front. That looks a little tacky. Of course it does. And here is something which might give smart a run for their money. This happens to be the MG E200. Yeah, nothing to do with the Mercedes E class, but you know what Mercedes is owned by Smart. Rather Smart is owned by Mercedes. What am I talking? This car is the one which Barbie girl will definitely drive. It's a two seater. very comfortable half pink interior and half in grey and all of us were like dual tone beige and black well look at this interior absolutely crazy yeah so the instrument cluster is like the infotainment system somehow and buttons are placed all over right there can you see that meanwhile audio controls on the steering wheel this is obviously for the indicator stock and this is the gear selector which is kind of weird somehow do you okay you select it like this okay there is some boot space as well You guys like this car, right? Because this is so pink from the rear. It's sort of a box, and this is how the boot opens. Okay, this loading lip isn't that big, which brings me to the very star of the show, the car which is right in the center, and also the highlight, the MG Marvel X, which is nothing but the Roe Marvel X. Now Roe is a China-specific brand because. it was mg rover they took over mg they did not get rover which went to land rover so they started a new brand for suvs known as roe okay now this is the marvel x and it's an absolutely mind boggling car i'll tell you why firstly i've driven this car in china long time back i've done a video on it but here are things in this vehicle which are absolutely stunning for starters it's powered by 42 sorry 52.5 kilowatt battery yeah 52.5 kilowatt sorry 52.5 kilowatt motor which is more than the kona and you know it produces 302 horsepower and 665 newton meters of torque with three motors all wheel drive there are multiple variants there's a rear wheel drive variant as well and there's a lesser power variant as well this goes from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 4.8 second making it blisteringly quick and uh, the range is around 370 kilometers so car is absolutely staggering now this is the first mass production car in the world which has achieved level 3 autonomous driving function that's insane absolutely insane it says psych active led technology boot might be a little small and the spare wheel well there is none here right now i think punctures don't happen in china at all so car definitely looks very nice right now why is it not function okay it took a minute or two probably it sent a signal to china to get an approval to shut the boot lid let's see the rear for a moment so as you see the complete interior is finished in uh this beautiful finish and uh, it says marvel x right there get a massive panoramic roof to you know what the door handles they are hidden and to open it you pull it like this but it's not something you have not seen i've shown such things multiple times when i shown you this car now the tire size on this vehicle happens to be a 235 4519 if launched in the indian market this is going to be priced around 30 35 lakhs which will make it quite expensive because of course this happens to be a uh, electric vehicle marvel x definitely seems to be inspired from the model x see the size of the screen that size is around 19.5 inches and uh, it's not even an ipad it's like the ipad pro which has been plonked right there see the instrument cluster which is fully digital and of course you get a lot of buttons on this might remind you of the pre facelift of the mercedes s class because it also got a two spoke steering wheel looks pretty nice and i love the screen offer screen is super humongous all the functions are placed there so this is the mg marvel x and these controls are super similar to the one on the mercedes s class so without a doubt they have taken a lot of influence from the mercedes s class and uh, in imitation can be the biggest form of flattery from the side you can see the design is slick and nice and this is particularly impressive you know the way the door handles open that is super cool people will love it not actually relying too much on having it you know electrically retracting storage space below and everything inside the cabin just reminds you of how much technology and design is being pushed into chinese cars these days in fact it's in chinese as well right there so guys this is a quick walk around of the mg pavilion at the 2020 auto expo and the whole theme is so british because i'm just saying they want to reflect their british heritage and all but we all know that mg is owned by saic which is a chinese company but the biggest automaker in china and china being a massively competitive market and a massive big market as well well that's not an easy place to get such kind of domination
anyways this is the phone booth i need to make a call so i will see you guys in the next video real soon bye bye take care this is functional or what oh yes it is functional let's dial a number what should we dial हेलो हाँ वीडियो लाइक कर लो शेयर करो कमेंट करो सब्सक्राइब करो